Alright, hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of my Fallout 3 Jackass Edition playthrough. Be a jackass. So this is actually going to be our first opportunity to do so, so... Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Yeah, you know. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't All we? Right. <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Alright, should I lie? Or should I be a real true jackass? Shut up! And it isn't my fault that Butch and Wally are here. Your dad said we had to invite them. Never mind them. Time for your present. What do you think I got you? Go on, try to guess. Alright, a date with Christine Gross. Kendall. I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. Oh, I'll say I something rude about I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> oh, what, are you two she did give it to me for a second, but I thought she wasn't going to give it to me. I was like, wow. Happy birthday, Sonny. Overseer. I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Yeah, yeah fuck you too. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. What a douchebag. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Yeah. Who do you mean, bull face here? No, I didn't want to sit, face, damn it. <laughs> Let's talk to Stanley. He gives us stuff. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? I hate it. How do I get it off? Get it off? Why in the world would you want to do that? Your Pip Boy's the best friend you'll ever have. Besides, you can't get it off. Biometric seals, etc. I could tell you some stories about trying to take them off the old folks. Ah, uh, well, that's hardly a fit subject for a kid's birthday party. Huh, huh. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Pretty soon you'll wonder how you ever got along without it. Yeah, and that's really interesting. Sure, most people don't give a thought to their pip boy as long as it keeps working. Well, anyway, I got this for your birthday. It isn't much, and you probably already have one. It's but weird, but going. I actually kind of feel Happy bad birthday. for being a jerk. How's it going, pal? Oh, no. Having a good time? Hello, it wasn't Mr. easy Mr. keeping this a secret. Say something to me, Butch. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got are Sweet you ball. having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Hope you brought me something better than last year. Uh, well, now. Young people were more polite back in my day. Respected their elders. Of course, we had a real <laughs> overseer back then. <laughs> worthy of respect. Oh, that's funny. Not like that one over there with his rules and his secrets. He's sitting right across from her. I have half a mind to just up and tell you. <laughs> oh, my. There I go again with my old lady talk. And you still waiting patiently for your Oh, I'm being very present. impatient. What are you talking about? I suppose about? you could have asked more politely. But it is still your birthday. So here you go. A nice sweet roll I baked just for you. Sweet. I'm hungry. Stupid robot destroyed wow, speech and mid jump. Sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. All right. You do look hungry. What? Your mom drank up all the ration coupons again? Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. You're going to be sorry. Oh, I wish I could hit him, but I can't. Punch me. Punch me. me the sweet Punch me. Butch. What's Butch's problem anyway? I can't believe you tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. 
He's lucky Gilman stopped the fight. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Gilman, you got something to say to me? I, I hope Bush didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Yeah, it was nothing. You're just boys being boys. That's fine, son. I'm glad to see you're not letting Butch bully you. He's going to be a handful in a few years if his mother doesn't take him in hand. Well, no harm done then. Why don't you get back to enjoying your party? Well, I'm done enjoying my party. Thanks for coming, Sam. What is that? I know you were busy with the three thousand A models. What a piece of junk. I think you have to wind it up every morning. What is that noise? Enjoying Jonas? Hey, Doc. I was what do you think we should call our dad? Fix anything, right? Totally Thanks. Anyway, I'll send him right down. Okay, how about those bolts? How's it going, pal? Get it? What? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. How are you enjoying your party? What's over yeah, here? Palmer? I got Inaccessible. One. The men's room's there. Super cool, right? Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope yeah, I she's kind of the vault party. airhead. I'm the girl, and I'm not five. So stop calling me dearie. Of course you're not five. <laughs> You're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With your very own pip boy. And do you know what I did? Just for the occasion, wrote you a poem. I hope you like it. A poem? You gotta be kidding me. No, really. I wrote it just for you. I'd never just copy one of my old poems. Well, there was that one Founder's Day where I couldn't rhyme anything with Overseer. But you deserve nothing less than a brand new poem. You can keep it in your pit boy and read it whenever you want. Ah, oh, sounds terrible. Let's read it. Data notes: gray walls, impenetrable steel, suffocation, condemnation, little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy, Daddy, am I dead? Nay, nay, reborn. Into purifying fluorescence. This is hard to read because it's like all blurry. A face emerges strong and male, father to me, father to all, overseeing our lives, our eternities. Harshness of discipline, harshness of love, obedience, my savior. Larva to pupa, pupa to worker, buzz, buzz, one with steel, honeycomb, ten lies within the 101, significant at last, till gray seeps from walls to hair to soul, then. Eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. Wow, what a downer. No way. Which way am I supposed to go? Because I don't want to go that way. I need the lockpick of 100. This way is where I'm supposed to go. What's up here? Ooh. Ooh, who's going to talk to? Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. Oh, yeah, that's the dad of the dude, I'm, or that chick I want to date. Christine Kendall. I don't even know who Christine Kendall is, but whatever. Jonas! What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Can it, Jonas? Oh, I see. Now that you're ten, you're all business. Well then, mister, we'd better get to it. Happy birthday, by the way. Hang on one more minute. I think I hear someone coming. Oh shit, Sealer's here. He's gonna kill us. Oh, it's just my dad. Are you ready for your surprise? I don't like surprises. Since when? Regardless, I think you'll like this one. You're getting older, and you've got your pit boy. I figure you're old enough for this, too. Your own BB gun. You'll shoot your eye it's out, a kid. Old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Hell yeah. What do I get to kill? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. 
Alright, so now I'll show you the weapon stuff real quick. Uh, and items. Now you can set it to a hotkey by holding down the R2 button. And you see you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now on the PC, that would be much easier. But here you gotta kind of uh, use the D-pad. So like up would be 2, up and right would be 1. So I'll set it to 1. Up and, or up and left would be 1. So I, now I can just press the hotkey. And you can bring it out. But that's all the time we have for today. So I'll see you next time in part 3 of Fallout 3 Jackass Edition.